We're here with Georgi Karakhanyan, uh, who won the High Fighter of the Month Award for April 2012. Georgi, thanks for taking the time to talk with us. And I also want to thank Sergio Cacciati for uh, sponsoring the uh, High Fighter of the Month. And uh, Georgi, you're wearing this uh, French designer uh, outfit that uh, was sent to you by Heiko from Sergio Cacciati. We want to thank them very much. And uh, Georgi, just want to ask you, the, you've been very, very busy. Uh, obviously, you won your MMA fight on April 29th, I believe it was. That's correct, yeah. And uh, you finished that in under a minute. And then the following week, you had your boxing Box. debut. And then from what I understand, the day after that, you had a BJJ tournament where you placed first as well. Yeah, that's correct. So, seven, seven days, three different types of fights, and... Uh, winner in each one of the fights. How does it feel? How you do it? It feels good, you know, like uh, it was a good weekend for me. I mean, good two weeks for me. Uh, I felt good for my MMA fight. To me, uh, to fight is not a big deal, you know, that's why I proved it, so. Uh, boxing debut was really important for me because I worked a lot on my hands, so uh, it went good. I'm really happy about that. I'm glad I didn't get injured, so. That's why the next day I just went to the to San Diego to compete at the Grappling X tournament and did really good. I was a little tired because after doing those four rounds at the boxing and then putting the gi on, competing the eight minute rounds, it got into me. But you know everything went well. Those two weeks uh, was good weeks for me. One week. It was seven. Yeah, it was I, seven days. Oh yeah, that's correct. One week was good. Good week for me and. Uh, I'm just really happy to be High Fighter of the Month of April, and I want to thank uh, Sergio Cacciati for you know sponsoring uh, sponsoring this uh, the High Fighter High Fighters, and you know I'm wearing this nice hundred and thirty dollars <laughs> shirt and some pants. So I'm really happy, and uh, Hike you know Hike uh, took care of me when I was in Florida. I, that was my first Bellator fight. When I fought there, him and his friends, his dad, they all took me out after the weigh-ins, and they took me out after a fight. They took, took good care of me. And, and you had like, never met them before? They just were there simply supporting because you were Armenian and they're Armenian? That's correct. They heard that I was going to fight there. Uh, they contacted me through uh, Facebook, and, you know, I told them when I'm fighting, and, you know, sure enough, they showed up. To the weigh-ins and they uh, supported me. They were there with the Armenian flag. You know, that's the good thing about us Armenians. You know, they support you wherever you're at, and I'm just really thankful. You know, for them to take good care of me. And you know, his dad is actually give my dad a ride to the back to the hotel. So, it's really good guys. They, you know, I'm really happy. Well, great, Georgie. You've been, you've had about what 20, 21 MMA pro fights. 21, right? 18 and 3? Yeah, 3 and 1. Yeah. 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 Okay, and uh, can you talk a little bit about what the transition was like from MMA to boxing? What are some of the differences and what you think you'll be able to take back to MMA just because you've had that, that professional boxing fight now under your belt? The transition from MMA to boxing was... A f you know, it was a little hard because there's, you know, I have more MMA fights than boxing. Of course, it's my boxing debut, but, you know, it was when I was in there boxing, it was hard for me, you know, to, there's times where I want to go for takedown, there's times where I want to do knee. And, and I did uh, see that, by the way, at yeah. ringside, uh, you were you, you were tied up, good. Kick him. <laughs> and I saw, your, I saw your heel come off the ground, and, and you kind of stopped yourself because you were on your tippy toes. I was like, oh no, he's going to throw a knee. But uh, I wasn't imagining that, was I? No, that was, that was, that was, I was going to, I was going to try to kick him. And then oops, I stopped. I was like, man, hold on, this is boxing. I better, I better not kick him because I'm going to get disqualified. It's not going to look good on me. But uh, boxing, uh, you know, working on my hands strictly for six weeks and testing it out and my boxing debut was a great experience. Uh, Boxing is different from MMA because you gotta, you gotta use a little bit of you know. With MMA, you go with the instinct. Like if the guy grabs me, if I see submission, I get it. 
with boxing, it's kind of you got to pick your punches and, you know, try to pick your punches, use your jabs a lot, you know, don't 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 fight angry, just be there fighting calm. So uh, that's the one thing I learned and you, you always got to be smart there because those, uh, those eight ounce, 10 ounce gloves are, you get hit with one of those, you're going to get out. Well, what do you think you'll be able to take back to the uh, MMA cage from boxing? Is it going to be, I don't know, the way you stalk people or is it going to, do you think that translated more into teaching you more patience and, and picking and choosing how you're going to attack, when you're going to attack, or is it is it the angles that are so prevalent in boxing that that's what's going to be, what do you think is going to be the most helpful, the, the most helpful aspect of boxing that's going to help you out the most in, in the MMA cage? I, I personally think, because, you know, I'm, I'm a fighter that likes, that likes to stalk my opponent, you know. So for me, it's the distance. So I'm going to keep my distance and, you know, pick my punches, you know. You see a lot of MMA fights, you know, even early on in my career, my fights where I'm just brawling, I'm throwing punches. But with boxing, you know, you pick your punches, you snap them. They, it, you don't have to use a lot of power to hurt someone. It's all about snapping your punches. So I think most of it is going to be same. I'm going to still have the same aggress aggressive fight style, stalking people, trying to finish them. But I'm going to be a little more patient, you know, because I had that boxing experience. Great, Georgie. What do you have planned for the rest of May and June? And uh, what does the rest of the year look like for you? Well, you know, uh, I'm trying to stay busy. I want to fight one more time in June. But, you know, everyone knows that my, my goal and my main goal is to be in UFC, fight for UFC. So I'm hoping by, you know, July, August, I get that phone call from Sean Shelby or Joe Silva and fight in UFC. Uh, if not, then I'm uh, you know, going to keep fighting and uh, keep getting wins because to me fighting is just like training. I could fight right now too if I had a choice. Well, I, I wouldn't want you to fight right now. <laughs> Uh, yeah, right? No, so uh, basically until you go into the UFC, you're open to MMA and or boxing. That's correct. Like, uh, I would like to do more boxing because it was fun. I had a lot of fun in there. But if a uh, right opportunity comes with the MMA fight, and you, I'm not getting locked in the contract. Like I said, I want to go into UFC. But if the right opportunity comes for a one-fight deal, I'll take a fight. Okay. And just to be clear, if you do get in the UFC, the boxing is done. If I do get in UFC... I'm sorry, when you get in the UFC, <laughs> the boxing will be done completely. Uh, yes, that's completely... I won't, I won't be able to box. I'll just main focus to be in UFC and knock people out. And um, hopefully three wins and give, go for a title. Well, great. Uh, Georgie, thank you very much. I really, really appreciate your time. Oh, and also, by the way, I just wanted to mention uh, on that uh, May 5th show, you also won the fight of the night for the for your boxing debut. Uh, would like We would like to thank, thank uh, Sartonk Designs for the uh, lovely, uh, wonderful bicep belts that they made, and uh, yeah. you got one of those as well. So, uh, again, we'd like to thank everybody who's... who's uh, taken an active involvement uh, with supporting our high fighters and uh, I think there's a lot more greatness that we're going to see in the next uh, months, years to come and you know there's a lot of good guys coming up and I think you know it's, it's going to be a lot of fun. What do you think about that? No, I, I'm, I'm, I agree with you 100%. I uh, want to thank also the people that made the belt, their name? Sartonk. Sartonk, yeah. Very nice belts. Uh, you know. I put them on my bicep every day, walk around, go to the store. <laughs> uh, also, Sergio Cacciati and, uh, you know, whoever, whoever supports high fighters. And um, also, main thanks to Aras for making all this happen. I'm just doing a small thing, guys. I'm just doing my small part, guys. You guys are the ones out there with the, uh, you know, putting in the blood, sweat, and tears and uh, making us all proud all over the world. And I can say this. I know we get a lot of... Uh, visitors from all over the world uh, on highfighters.com and you know it, it's just it's just wonderful to see that there's you know Armenians all over the world are coming together and 
believe me when I tell you they are following you. Uh, you know, just like the story you said about Heiko and uh, when you went to Florida, I'm sure if any of our high fighters are fighting in any part of the world where there's Armenians, there's going to be an Armenian contingency there, there's going to be an Armenian following, just for the fact that you guys are Armenian. And, and I think that's, at the end of the day, that's what we want, that's what we want to make, you know, build a support up for you guys. So, you know, you guys feel like you have family no matter where you are. So, again, Georgie, thank you for your time. Uh, I appreciate that. And uh, looking forward to uh, much bigger things for you in the future. Hopefully, next time you come on, you can tell us that uh, you're in the UFC. I hope so. Thank you, Aras. Thank you. Thank you.